So yeah, so I thought we'd just start recording because we have just had a big sale just come in. I've not even had this item in my hands for longer than 48 hours and it's already out the doors. I did think that this would be a fast seller as well because as soon as I, I seen it posted on Facebook, I was like, I need to get that. But I was debating whether or not to get it because it was quite late at night and I was like, I had been so busy the whole day and I was shattered, but I was like, nah, I need to get this. And it is the PlayStation bundle. So on eBay, I had it up for around 199.99. I love putting all the nines at the end because people think they're getting a bargain for a penny. But no, that basically sold uh, when I was in the opticians the day. The opticians? Aye, because I was getting my eyes tested and came what? I'm not that much of a specky bastard anymore because they said my vision isn't that bad, so. But no, I can't. I couldn't believe it when I seen it pop on my phone. I didn't think I was going to actually sell it for £200. I was going for like quite a high amount at the start because there was like quite a lot of games that were in it as well, like 25 games. Some of them were fetching like £10, £15 on their own. Some, one of them, that F1 game, F123, that was going for like 30 quid pre owned on its own still. Don't know, don't know why that's still going for that amount, but. Fair enough. And then um, what I'll need to do now is I'll need to get this packaged and sent away. But there was another thing that sold as well. I've, I don't know why I didn't actually even bring it down to show, but it, it was the a pair of Nike. I think it was the Nike Reacts. I'll pop them on the screen. I will, I'll show you them in the next clip or something. I'll need to go up the stairs and get them. But yeah, if there is anyone new that's watching as well, uh, make sure to subscribe just because right now we're at about 25 subscribers so we're, we're getting there some some people are actually watching the videos but yeah i do like making these videos and i hope you do like watching them because it is quite fun for me to do but i'm not very content driven i don't really know what to film and what to do so the reason why the videos are so random is because I'm just a bit of a random person. I do watch quite a lot of resellers as well on YouTube because obviously it's something I'm passionate about. So I like watching other people that do it and seeing like what stuff they buy. So I'll, I think the, the person that I've seen recently, it was Ricky Resells and he still pays for like all his packages and stuff. So what I might do is I'll make that video and then everyone can get on the on the wave of the free supplies. And everyone doesn't have to pay for supplies. And that's brilliant. Unbelievable. But I, two seconds, I'll get the shoes. Oh, I'm pure knackered from going up those stairs. I feel like I've just ran up Mount Everest, but these are the, the shoes that sold. Jamie Lee's mum still had quite a lot of Nike boxes. So every time I sold a pair of Nikes, I launched them right in the box, but that's them in there. Decent little pair of Nike Reacts, and I took an offer for £30 for them, which is very decent because recently I think the Nike Reacts haven't been selling as well on eBay. So, but yeah, so they're basically brand new, hardly been worn, um, and they're just in brilliant condition. I think they've been put through the wash. I think someone's probably bought these thinking, okay, well, I'm going to use these, go to the gym, went to the gym once, and then just chucked them away because that's probably what I would do. because can't be gone there but now I'll go through the, the Facebook sold as well so £189 for the PlayStation bundle and £30 well plus postage but for both of them I think it was like £6 on the PlayStation and 288 on the, the shoes but Yodo are no longer accepting people's parcels which is a nightmare because yodel so convenient for me the shop is literally that direction for two seconds and you're at the yodel if i have to go every i have to go miles away over that direction <laughs> and it's literally like well not it's like five minutes in the car but it's like i can walk over there like if i box this right now put a yodel on it i would walk with it it's just wasting petrol but it is what it is, eh? Hopefully they get bought over by the Scott Mid because my Scott Mid, the people that work in there, absolutely hate it when you come in with vintage parcels. Like, see how vintage you aren't able to print out the Yodel labels. I go into the co-op and, like, they just see your parcel and their face drops like that. Especially me, when I come in, I've got, like, six parcels in my hand and they're like that. And I'm like, don't worry, mate. I've got all the labels on them. There you go. And then they think it's like a gift from God. I'm like, don't worry about it, mate. 
but then I do come I do come in and get them on the on vintage as well because obviously I do sell them there or sell my my old clothes on there when they do sell <laughs> and then anyway I'll start waffling a load of bollocks and I'll go through it. So yeah, so in here we've got the, the PlayStation bundle. So if you had seen my my YouTube short, I can't remember if I've showed this in my YouTube videos or I probably did, but. PlayStation bundle, controller, a charging dock where I tested it and it's not even for that PlayStation controller. They must have had like unofficial uh, PlayStation controllers but they didn't include them or something. But I just, I said it in the description, I was like, you can just take it and it doesn't work for that. So they already know if they read the description. But yeah, so you've got Spider-Man, pretty decent game. F123, 30 pound game. A couple other games. They're just all, all basic games to be honest. I've not really paid any, played any of them. I thought that one looked quite cool. I'd probably play that if I had the time. Loved a bit of Modern Warfare. Loved a bit of World War 2. But yeah, all the other games are just pretty basic. Other than that. But for a bundle, 20, 25, 25 games included in it with the PlayStation. That is like, it is a good bundle. But yeah, Jim Lee was saying that I should sell maybe some of the games on their own, but I was like, I just want to get rid of the lot, try and get rid of the lot together. And if they don't sell, I'd maybe do that. But luckily enough, it did sell. But yeah, I don't really know what else to go through now. But yeah, so this was just a, a quick little update video. It is Tuesday today, the day before the big day. My birthday going to be the old Rachel age of 22. So I'm basically going to be retired tomorrow and I'll be in my pensioner home. And that's what I feel like anyway. I feel like I'm a pure old man falling to bits. But no, it will be a good day in the morning going out for some lunch slash dinner. And then who knows, who knows what else will be on the cards. But I'll be off work anyway until next Tuesday. So thank God for that because... Can't be us being in full-time employment anymore. But no, full-time employment's just not the one. I want to be doing something that I enjoy and reselling is something that I'm quite passionate about. Because when I do find something I enjoy, I do really get stuck into it. So hopefully I can make something from this. And YouTube as well. I used to love making YouTube videos when I was younger, or Vines, if anyone had Vines, but... So yeah, so I thought I was going to end the video there, but then another sale ended up coming through. I think the guy earlier on said he was going to pay for it later on and I totally forgot about it. But it was that Paul, Paul Smith shirt I think I sold. It was like the khaki brown type colour shirt. I had it up for, I think it was £20 on Vinted. Because I usually do like a little bit lower pricing on there because you don't have to pay any fees or anything. But it did end up selling for £19, which I'll pop up on the screen there. So today already is looking like a banger of a day. So I think we sold the PlayStation console, we then sold the pair of shoes and then now the shirt. So three things today. Not obviously a lot of items, but it's the fact that they're big bulky items, big cash coming in. So I think that's around like £250 now. Around about that. Aye, £250 I think. So get that in my basket. But yeah, so I was excited to go over that um, Facebook Marketplace find because I love flipping the Facebook Marketplace finds really quickly because it makes me think, yes, it's so easy. Just go to someone's house, pick it up, list it, bang, straight away. But I, the title of the video is going to be quite clickbaity, but at the same time, not really because Facebook Marketplace is going to make me rich. <laughs> Only joking, but I'll maybe see if I'll film anything after this, but we'll have to wait and see because it is Valentine's Day tomorrow as well. So I do have something behind me that I'm trying to prepare now and that I'm going to do right now because Jamie Lee's actually out because it's my birthday tomorrow. So then she's having to get stuff for me. I'm having to do this. So I've kind of got like 30 minutes to, to, to try and do this anyway. Right, I'll stop waffling. So I'll see you later. Yeah, so this was uh, the Paul Smith shirt that did sell. Just a, a nice little classic fit. And it is 100%. What does that actually say? I don't even know because of the lighting in this kitchen is horrendous. But yeah, the colour it is like a, a khaki brown. It's a bit of a weird colour. But this was the one that I wanted to keep for myself. But not happening because it didn't fit me. But 
got the little supplies here getting ready ready to package all this they're my they're my shoes i use for running around the 10k and those bad boys so i'm just going to wrap my parcels up now and i'll just do a quick little speed up of me wrapping them because that will be pure sick mate Now surely everyone's done this before where they've had to use a bin bag only for these Nike trainer boxes though because I've not got any big large bags so a bin bag always does the trick extra thick probably better than the actual fucking bags you get to places but it's because I'm still waiting on the supplies getting delivered hopefully it'll be this week All the games have just fit in there. Come on! Now it's time to get them to the Scott Med because the Yodel labels have been printed again. So thank God for that. Now this is going to weigh an absolute ton, so my back's going to be in agony. Nightmare. Oh, Oh my god, I just got back and they're saying that they've not got any labels for the printer and they said they want to get them back to the weekend so the one vintage parcel I'll need to go to the other shop that I'll need to drive to so that's really good so bad but no, I'll probably just drop that off as well because I'm not going to go to date any other day so let's go there I've just got back from the third shop for that bloody parcel so this will be the end of the video if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you when i see you peace out Ooh. yeah <laughs> well, that's what you call a flippy fucking flapper mm.